This is the uh, uh, reservoir tank where we're building our chemicals. We've got 40 gallons of water and then we do the mold uh, treatment and we also add bleach just as an extra component and this is the uh, sprayer, the pump and then what we'll do is we'll start transferring all of the um, chemicals to the siding so it can set and then we start a pressure washing treatment after that This is the application. It's just a flood coat of uh, pre-treatment to kill all the mold and mildew prior to pressure washing. The most important thing at this point is treating the mold and mildew before you pressure wash. This kills everything uh, prior to any pressure, you know, pushing anything into the wood, which could make it worse. So this is the proper application for treating mold and mildew prior to a repaint. Now comes the pressure washing. We go back to uh, the point of where we started. The solution has been on there for about 45 minutes. And now what we do is we take the pressure washer, we get it to about maybe 1,500 pounds, not over that, and then now we're doing a surface wash from top to bottom. start pressure washing from the top down and then you have another ground man over there start to do the lower elevation you can actually see the siding and where we've washed the, the marks that are left there from the pressure washer that just shows you the type of residue that we did take off during the course of washing they haven't washed the upper part they just washed the lower you can see uh, in the feeder how it's uh, cleaned that up too. It was pretty noisy just a second ago, but this is the cedar wash cleaner that we're using. And then what we're doing is taking a turkey burner and hot water and mixing the ratio that we need to mix. The reason why we have to have hot water is it solidifies the powder. And you can see it is a powdery residue that, that we poured off. And we pour that into the hopper. And then from the hopper, we take it to this uh, transfer pump. And then it goes to this wand. And then we're gonna spray a flood coat on the cedar shake and let it soak in. And this is the beginning of the roof treatment application. You start from the very top and you just flood coat it all the way down. So you have a good, um, a good chemical wash that's going to sit there and saturate into the shape. You can see it's really starting to change color. Pretty dangerous work though. This is what the roof looks like now um, after it's been completely been uh, pressure washed.
after you're done washing with the big flat washer, you just go back and polish it with the uh, hand wand and blow everything off nice and pretty. Hi, I'm David with Integrity Finishing. Thanks for watching our video. Those are the fundamental steps that any painter must and should take to provide a long-lasting paint job. Mold and mildew is pretty pervasive here in the Northwest and throughout the country. If you encapsulate it in between coatings, you'll never get rid of it. So those are the steps, and I hope you've enjoyed our video, and have a great day. Integrity Finishing also provides services in cleaning composition roofs, cedar shakes, flat concrete. We seal concrete with masonry sealer. We do brick, tuck pointing, pretty much anything that can be washed and sealed, Integrity Finishing does it. So if you need some help, give us a call. Thanks a lot.